How's it going? It's Shane Dar Rosario. I'm at Team Oyama, getting ready for UFC 146. Uh, yes, yeah, so I was coming off a car accident uh, April 14th. I've been out for, you know, by the time I fight, it'll be about 14 months. Um, it was definitely a rough time. I was off for about eight months doing nothing. And, uh, you know, I just had to change my training around, really focus on rehab, um, and just be smart about my training, really focus on not re-injuring my back. Um, but uh, I'm feeling good going into this fight. Um, I had a good camp. I still have three weeks left, and uh, we're coming to fight May 26th um, and my de debut for UFC, uh, and we're excited. Uh, my two head coaches are Jiva Santana for my jiu-jitsu coach and Colin Oyama. Um, I've been with Colin for about six years now. Um, we've been training every day since, since the first day I walked in the gym. Uh, we've really taken our time um, doing amateur, doing Muay Thai fights. Uh, we're 11-0 in MMA, and uh, we're right where we want to be. Um, around 20 fights, um, and we're undefeated in MMA, and we're ready to have our UFC debut, um, and we're coming to fight. I think that as a heavyweight, I definitely have an advantage. I'm one of the faster heavyweights, and because of my, my Muay Thai background, um, you know, I, I do have good footwork. Um, at our gym, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of heavyweights, but I think it's helped me out because I train with a lot of smaller guys, so... I, I, in a sense, smart, like, fight like a smaller guy. Um, and so I can move around, I got speed, I got quickness, and it's gonna do really well for me um, in the UFC, I think, against some of these bigger heavyweight guys. I was definitely upset that I couldn't continue with the um, Strike Force Heavyweight Grand Prix. Um, you know, I came off a strong win against LeVar Johnson, and uh, I had a chance to be the alternate. Um, and then I was about to face Daniel Cormier for the semifinals. Um, and it was gonna be my toughest fight as of yet. Um, and unfortunately, I got in the car accident, but. I mean, it was just a huge step up in, in, in stages, um, being in the Grand Prix. I mean, fighting along Al Soverim, um, Verdum, um, just some of these, these big name guys. Um, and, you know, I, I had to lay off for a year because of the accident, but now I'm back on UFC, the biggest stage in MMA. And, uh, you know, and this was the goal since the first day I stepped in the gym is to be at UFC. And uh, we, paid our, we paid our dues in, the, in this sport. We worked hard and uh, we're ready to go. Um, I definitely think uh, people expect to see are going to see an um, exciting fight from me uh, and Stipe. Now, we're both undefeated fighters. Uh, we're both quick. We both like to throw. Um, and it's going to be an exciting fight. But me in general, um, you know, I, I definitely, I mean, fighting is the entertainment business. And uh, I want to make the, ha the fans happy by, by finishing fights uh, via knockout or submission. And uh, you know, that's why I'm working so hard in the gym now. And I'm getting ready to go May 26. Um, I have an offer a year or two. I could really use that knockout bonus or submission bonus. <laughs> can help me out. Uh, definitely, the, the car accident really, uh, really set me back. I mean, I got a year of my life taken away when I was at a very pivotal point in my, my career. I was about to um, take off, fight big fights in Strike Force, and you know, UFC just acquired Strike Force that right at the time. Uh, who knows? I could have already had a few fights in UFC. Um, but definitely, I mean, it, it took me back. I went through some dark times because of that, not knowing if I could ever fight again, not knowing, you know, if I needed to just quit fighting and, and just get back to going to school or, or, or working. Um, but it definitely helped me appreciate life. I mean, yeah, my car accident was pretty bad, and, and you know, I almost couldn't fight. But, you know, I, I, I've always, I've, I still have a pretty good compared to what other people have. I really got to put things in perspective. Um, I've had a lot of friends battling cancer, and I had a lot of friends have lost uh, to fighting cancer. And, uh, you know, during my recovery, I, they really used them as inspiration, you know, knowing what they're going through, knowing what they're fighting for. Uh, fighting against. Um, it, it's really helped me put things in perspective and, and make a goal that I need to get back in the cage and fight for myself, um, for my recovery, but also for them and all the people that are fighting against cancer. Get out there and check it out, the Eddie Solomon Foundation. Uh, it's a cancer foundation trying to raise awareness for uh, not only cancer, but for Be The Match um, and um, bone marrow transplant um, donors. Um, it, it takes a few minutes to swab and get checked if you're a donor for uh, bone marrow and you can save people's lives. So please check it out, the eddysolomonfoundation.com. Thank you.